Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Chess and welcome back to Day Art Survival. So, I guess we can start the Bella's Repair uh, like series, I guess, mini series. So, basically the series will be me trying to repair my Bella's, right? Uh, just like in the previous episode that we talked about, um, you know, like, uh, well, this is my grass, right? My Bella's is actually in my uh, base in uh, Chelyabinsk. And right now I'm at Sverdlovsk and the first part of this Bella's repairs will be uh, me trying to um, get as many of this currency over here, this one iron nuts, because we'll actually need um, lots of this, right? As well as a ration card, which will be in probably the next video. Uh, I'm not sure just yet, but for now we'll do iron nuts, like basically just farm iron nuts, right? Um, I'm now at Sverdlovsk, so, you know, if you're in Chelyabinsk over here, um, you always want to have or get all the, uh, like, uh, all the currency from Magneto and Sverdlovsk as well, as well as Chelyabinsk, right? So, because, um, these three cities over here will give you iron nuts, right? Um, and then you also need Tumen, Tumen and Kurgan as well. Uh, if you can later on, um, but this one you will need to have uh, to use the uh, train, right? Which actually costs you money, so I don't think that's economically effective. Um, so yeah, that's why, uh, you know, I only recommend farming these three over here, right? Um, and that's about it. And then the next will be Novo, Krasno, and Ergots. You For this one, you will actually have to use the train. And uh, that will be for uh, the uh, another episode for that, right? Like a uh, tips for that. Uh, but yeah, so now we are at Sverlovs, and I already have collected some of the quests over here. Uh, I'm maxed uh, right now, and you know all of these, right? Also, there is this daily quests, I guess, which needs me to cook for this pie over here, which will need a uh, flour clean. Water, bury your fruit, sugar, and then that's about it. However, I'm not going to do that because uh, the rewards are not that crazy. It's just whiskey. I have so much whiskey. Uh, so, you know, it's not that uh, worth it for me anyway. So, yeah, today we'll actually do these quests and try to attempt to do that. There is four uh, locations and there is this hunt over here which requires raw meat. And then order which requires limp. It means we actually need to um, kill some stuff over here, right? Uh, this one actually did kill like um, some time ago, I think. Like a few days ago, um, the last time I played this. And yeah, over here. And okay. Uh, so I guess you can just start then. So anyway, I actually know that um, there will be updates. Like in short or something. However, I'm not going to worry about that if the update comes um uh, before i actually finish this series over here um i will you know just uh, maybe stop this series right and see uh, or adapt to uh, the next uh, update right um because there are many rumors that the games uh, the updates actually have been in the um like final uh you know what it's called again like uh in beta testing or something like that and people actually try to um not really try but like some people actually uh doing a trial for that right uh to find as much um like uh, what is it called again like as much as many bugs as possible so that they can um fix if there's any right so yeah let's just kill this over here uh oh yeah i didn't see that um, the the chance was like not 100% right because this guy hides in behind this kind of uh, barrier I think or not I'm not entirely sure but yeah I guess we can just use this and just like that I guess uh, not really an effective start um, but whatever also I will get targeted uh, potentially but uh, whatever right um yeah this this video will be very long i cannot imagine like maybe i won't really show um all of the the fights you know like um 
maybe like only few quests that I take, right? But you got the point that uh, we actually have to farm points basically. So yeah, let's kill this one over here and then let's use my PKM uh, for which one? Yeah, this one probably because 120 to 60 or maybe this guy over here because why not, right? Yeah, let's just kill this and then let's poke um, this guy over here. Okay, and then let's actually move now from the tower, right? So that we don't get targeted. Okay, let's enter. Um, also, I use my this one, Polar Fox. But I don't actually use it for anything because uh, I just don't want it to do actions. And it will result in uh, it being hungry, right? Uh, so, yeah. Let's kill this and then probably kill this as well. Oh, no, it's too far. Alright, I will just use this and poke this guy over here with 600 armor. Okay, let's enter for the fox. So, I, I only use the power fox for leveling. Um, I don't really care about uh, the, you know, like the efficiency of not using that, but it's fine. It's just for uh, experience over here. You will see, yeah, this one, it increased by 1500, right? Uh, okay. Uh, let's help and it into pace so helping will re uh, increase your reputation further so you know it's actually great to have them like injured in the battle or even killed because you will then have the option to uh, help them and then you will get the reputation so yeah uh, this one over here level 52 and then my little pumpkin level 70 but the other one wolf and refer already 100 uh, yeah, let's go here and I guess this one is just taking the crate over here. Yeah, escape. Uh, there is no encounter, which is always great. Uh, let's go down first. There is one over here. Oh, this is just another crate, right? Because the X uh, symbol. Uh, follow the footstep. Uh, take the crate and yeah, just leave. Uh, don't really care about the bonus items, but yeah. Because I already have so much items, right? Okay, now let's go here and let's actually butcher this to get the meat so that we can also do the um, the hunt. Uh, this one over here, yeah, this one, client. Hunt, hand over the loot. Okay, find person, head guard, camp supplies. Okay, there's two, there's one more, right? Okay, over here. And yeah, just like that, and we collect this quest complete one two three four and five so that's everything no not really we still need lymph okay so i will just search here i guess hunt and see if there is like um a creature i guess in the forest area over here uh hunt okay not not that not snake not not wolf not birds not bears not lynxes Okay, yeah, this one, cockroaches attack, and I will just auto battle it because why not, I don't really care again, just for make it uh, fast, right, so yeah, let's do this, um, and yeah, just like that, we got 22 over here, but no, it's already got taken over here, so yeah, quest complete, order, we got some reputation as well as money and experience as well, so that's everything here, right, there are some, still some, uh, you know like some quests over here but i will do this offline uh it's just to make you know like you get the point of that right also oh, oh this one over here uh oh there's a mod oh they are actually talking about pick up it right it's in beta now uh not far off by dark panther um so she is one of the mods right and I was actually quite close, not really close, but more like I recently, you know, when, when, only when I was uh, still active playing this, like last year, right? Like, um, just casually talking and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there are some people over here, not really much going around. Some people are selling stuff, buying stuff, but, um, it's not that really crazy, right? But yeah um that's about it i guess uh oh didn't mean to go there mean to close the chat box 
Okay, uh, I guess I'll just bring this as well and let's go back to Chelyabinsk. So Chelyabinsk is not that far off from Sverdlovsk, yeah it's only here right? Um, you know just take this road over here and it's actually great idea to stay on the road because you'll actually move uh, fast and there's no really like obstacle or something like that it's just to make it fast uh, well you can also move fast in the wasteland as well I think but you know there's road let's just use road right over here then a little bit of zigzag over here and then go here again and yeah Chagabinsk should be down here uh, in my base over here right so we got everything um, not really everything but it's more like uh, some of them right uh, for here yeah okay let's go to here and let's drop everything and let's I guess we can just uh, like pick up and drop everything I guess um, to replenish our uh, ammo our stuff like right also in like off cam you know I just play this casually right so I sorted all of the stuff like this one is supposed to be only for food I think um, and then this one up here is for all the components and then this one over here will be like the drinks or water and then down here will be medicines let's pick up and drop uh, to replenish and then this one as well which will be the weapons and ammo I guess so yeah okay so now that we are replenished uh, by replenish I mean we got the stuff from the camp but you know because there is the pin system over here right um, like let's say this one right pin a thousand it means I will only get a thousand and then will not drop this one thousand right it will stay in my bag basically and then let's grab this as well pick up drop all just to refresh basically and now we can go to the uh, oh actually no we need to do this in Chalia pins first anyway let's go to quest and let's grab all of these I guess and just quickly get all the iron nuts now we have 27,000 right uh, which is still not that much but you know that's just the grind part of this game right like you need to casually grind like every few hours which you know um, I guess it's fine um, like basically it it drives you to log into the game every five uh, hours right uh, okay this one is the this one uh, the crate okay escape and then we go to the upper part of Chelyabinsk for that two quests over there also there's lots of people over here don't know why uh, I mean not really don't know why but it's more like it's quite common since everyone that lives in Yuva now resides in Chelyabinsk um, because it's like the close closest uh, city with a train right so yeah oh I didn't mean to um, okay it's fine I think I misclicked something over there I think I should have done something else that actually will be bad for my reputation but hopefully nothing's um, not that big of deal let's see I guess let's go back first so there are there were only three locations right and then we actually have four so yeah this one there is a hunt over here um, okay so wait what do I want to check again Okay, let's go to find person over here, hunt, and oh, there is a woman over here, extra, um, extra reputation, always great, plus 100, tell you for it, and then hand over, and just like that, also in the quest, uh, there is this delivery over here, which I will never take, uh, everything that the color is blue, it's bad, because it, it will require you to go to other city, right? and you know which that will be expensive traveling is kind of expensive and the money that it gives um, is not really that worth it for that so yeah, let's complete this quest over here um all of these uh, let's go to here talk to the head card uh hello there um okay 
Oh, never mind. I thought I messed up. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, I didn't actually pay. Uh, I didn't actually pay attention to what happened there. So yeah, that's that. Um, so that's Jalapin's done, right? So it's just that simple and easy and quick. Uh, really, just to do all of this quest over here and then wait the game, right? Uh, so four hours from now. So yeah. Uh, oh, also I forgot actually in Sverdlovs that we actually need to sell some stuff as well in the buyer so that we get this extra uh, money over here, right? In this case, 1500. Uh, I will just sell, um, I don't know, this one I guess, Rawhide, because I have so many of these and I don't actually need that much. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, let's do this and yeah, 1500. We should actually do this in Sverdlovsk as well, but I forgot to do this. Well, uh, I will actually come back and probably finish the leftover quests over there, right? So we got the money, we got uh, the quests done as well, and now we go to Magneto Gorsk and do the same. So now we are at 31,000, right? We were at 27, so it's like 3,500, 3, right? 3.5 thousand basically. So yeah, we can go there. Uh, I don't think I will need to replenish because I don't really do any combat, I don't think. Anyway, so yeah. Let's go here and... I guess we go to Magneto, right? And then show you something else why we actually need the Iron Nuts, right? Because it's actually used to buy something from the trader in Magneto Korsk. And yeah, we'll see in a second, right? So yeah, uh, we're already 15 minutes in the video, I think, uh, which is not that bad. We actually did this quickly. Uh, so yeah, it's basically like speed run, right? Uh, let's grab all the quests over here. Oh, we ha we only have three. That's bad uh, Because this one will require us to go to two men and then spread loves right which is very well not really very but more like which is distant uh, over here So yeah, it's actually bad. That's why I will never um, actually take this quest uh, But although it's actually you know like it seems like it gives this amount right two thousand but it just requires you to go to far place, right? So I'm not going to do that. Also, the reason why we need the iron nuts is for the trader over here. And then we uh, get this one, right? Which is the... Um, let's actually buy one over here. And see over here. Uh, this one, mining permit. So allows entrance into the titanium or mine. What does that mean? It means that... To go over here this is the mine right you actually need to um, you actually need to get titanium ore from this place but to go here to enter this place you actually need this mining permit and each one of these will give you I think from 5 to 15 titanium ore like in random number right uh, either 5 to 15 so yeah there's that um, so yeah there's that I guess I guess now we can do the quests. Oh, this one's not that far, I guess. Uh, let's just go here first. So this is combat, right? Because there's this sword, sword symbol over here, right? Uh, help finish off the bandits. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, let's use the baller fox again. Now I will actually use this one because the last time I couldn't use is because I didn't have the ammo or ammunition. So yeah, let's start battle over here and let's go to the tower over here and i guess you can just start bombing this right i don't care it's not effective or efficient but i i just want this to end quickly basically so let's do this because this one has the full armor uh, as well as yeah exploding that right and then for the last one yeah i guess let's just bomb the bandit as well why not right so this is like one of the strong um, weapons that will actually bomb, right? It's like a rocket, you know, like rocket launcher. There will be a rocket and then upon impact it will just explode, right? And in 3x3 area. Uh, let's use sniper for the last bandit and that's about it. Uh, okay. Source corpses and leave. Yeah, let's just pick all of these. And go to the next area, which is down here, which is also a combat. So, yeah. 
uh, keep moving uh, I will just wait and yeah okay attack I think we should always attack I'm not entirely sure again uh, pets hungry let's use a little pumpkin then uh, yeah again let's just bomb everything I don't really care at this point um, well I mean I do care but I have lots of those ammo so uh, it's not that hurting for me anyway let's kill this can this kill uh, yeah sure right yeah okay um, so everyone over here gets stunned by the rocket and then this one can still attack right um, but it's not really a problem again okay um, I guess we can bomb another one over here and see if they all die or some of them okay the car explodes and yeah GG uh, now let's use this PKM for this guy I guess because the armor is 300 over here right so yeah let's use this and and turn I guess okay little pumpkin stay don't really need the help just want to level up right okay um let's kill this guy over here potentially or not because it's only 75 percent i guess i will move up a little bit and then let's do this oh still 75 doesn't matter anyway so yeah that's that and i guess the my ally will kill it yeah just like that okay close return to base and then pick up all of these as well don't forget and then go to the last place over here this one is oh it shows skull so does it this does this mean it will be difficult uh i guess not i will just attack uh really yeah i think that will be this one will be difficult i guess uh well not really oh it's because we are by ourselves potentially that's why it's considered as like difficult i will move here actually um and then use this bomb over here so that all of them got stunned right and then use pkm over this one because the armor is thick uh let's use this oh i cannot attack that well i guess i will just snipe this guy over here and just like that um my little pumpkin i will just make it stay not really don't really care about that uh let's actually move here and then i guess we can kill this bandit over here um and yeah let's just use uh rocket over there i don't really care again um uh no the pumpkin stays because the bandit is still too strong to attack uh, yeah, let's just use PKM and that will be a kill. And I guess that's all the quest that we have right now, right? So uh, I still need. Yeah, I think that's all of them. We just need to go back to the base over here and kind of make a report, I guess, right? Uh, to the head guard uh, over here. Find a person, head guard, back up. We cross them, accept reward, and leave. Uh, let's quest complete one two and three and that's it i guess we do you know we finished uh, all the red quests right except for all, all quests except for the blue one um so yeah also don't forget to sell stuff as well um let's just hunt in the forest see if there's anything over here that we can actually use like this bear right because bear is like big creatures it actually gives lots of stuff right um let's go here butcher this and then this one as well and then we can use this one um pick up all and then enter and trade uh no not trade uh sell them in the buyer over here and then sell all this meat over here right I don't think this one is efficient economically speaking i'm not entirely sure what's the meta right now uh what people sell but you know i don't really care again like um yeah i don't really care basically let's do this and reduce this and zero that's uh 1300 total 
uh, which is not that bad we now have 32,000 so it's not really that far from the person where we only get 31 but we also bought one of these right uh, one of this one from the trader uh, the mining permit uh, which is 2000 so we got like 33 right uh, or no 34 so that's like 3000 extra right and then we use the 2000 to buy the mining permit for this one and yeah we'll actually do uh, this one probably tomorrow I'm not entirely sure um, but I will in the meantime I will farm all this uh, currency and then I will buy all of these uh, because we'll need as many of these as possible right for the titanium ore and then um, to get that uh, to craft that to into titanium alloy I think what it's called over here let's see if I actually have yeah this one titanium alloy um, which will be in Sfer no it which will be in Chelyabinsk let's go back to Chelyabinsk and see over there right like the recipe and then um, like the material the recipe and the the amount of iron nuts that we need to craft that right because the specialist in the workshop actually require um actually need uh some money as well because i guess that makes sense like um we hired them to do this right uh, to craft the alloy so i guess it makes sense um let's drop uh, our loot from Magneto over here um, let's eat this because why not uh, let's drink coffee and then drink water so yeah just like that we are now at green over here all of this which is uh, which means that we are fine right uh, let's go here and go to this one specialist and down here you see this titanium alloy over here right we need one ore one aluminum one steel and some calls right to make this one titanium alloy so you know one mining permit will give us 5 to 15 uh, of titanium ore will we, which will be that 5 to 15 titanium alloy right so we actually need um like the repair will require 40 i think or 50 um this one yeah require 50 right so to get 50 it means we will need like about at least uh, at the very least will be 10 uh, mining permit right and each mining permit costs 2000 so that will be uh, 20,000 iron nuts needed just for that right and then we also need to pay as well each time we craft which will be 100 and then there's also this aluminum and steel and coal which I actually have so aluminum obtained by disassembling vehicle parts um vehicle parts you just go to the city over here and go to any random road let's see if we can find some road yeah over here uh, oh this one there's vehicles over here right uh go here and let's just search this and then disassemble this and you cut yourself uh, auto spare parts right over here and then if you disassemble this then you can get um this uh uh, aluminum right so one will give zero to one so we have two over here and 25 in our inventory i guess let's disassemble two and see if we can get yeah we got one over here right so we'll actually need some of those right and there's actually uh not that much so what you want to do as well oh my radiation is too high i will use the wine uh to reduce that just like that uh, so you go to trader over here and see if they actually sell some um, auto spare parts or bike spare parts or motorcycle or motorbike sp spare parts um, So yeah, you can find that maybe in Sverdlovs in or in Magneto. I didn't actually pay attention uh, To which trader have which one so you might have to check that by yourself, right? Or you can just buy the aluminum from this just like this as well, right? You will need uh, lots of uh, iron nuts for that as well, you know? Like getting all of this will require 8,000 to get 100. So yeah, so basically you will need to grind lots of iron nuts, right? Um, so that's the aluminum for the specialist over here. 
so we got titanium ore and then we got aluminum and then the next will be steel so how do you get steel well um fighting bandits will randomly give you steel so that's one way or another way you can just craft it i guess from the crafting section but it's actually expensive you know to get this steel you will need iron aluminum uh, which we know how to get and then lead and then coal coal you just burn uh wood into firewood and i think if you extinguish that you will get coal or you can use this one craft this charcoal pile using uh firewood and then you will get yourself um this one and then you can actually mine all this coal over here uh to get that and then uh the next will be yeah that's it right uh, the next will be iron. So how do you craft iron? Iron is this one. It requires scrap and coal. So coal we know how to make from the burning car charcoal. And then the scrap itself. You got scrap by disassembling vehicle. Uh, so we go back to the city, right? Uh, we go to this uh, over here. Um, and then this one. Just scrap this, right? And then you got yourself uh, this one. A thousand scrap from disassembling uh vehicle or cars right um i don't think you can buy this from the trader i might be wrong though i think you can but i i don't know which one again you need to actually make an observation or research by yourself right uh to get that or you can just buy iron over here as well apparently they sell this so yeah there you go get 100 you will require 2000 and then get 100 aluminum we require 8,000, so that's a total of 10,000 alone just for that. Um, and then you need 20,000 for the mining permit, right? So, yeah. Uh, so that's for the iron. If you want to make it yourself, you also will need bellows. Uh, how to make bellows over here? There's actually this one. It will require wood, nail, uh, bone glue, thread, and tanned leather. So, yeah. Um, if you ask me, yes, this will be like very um very what is it like it will be very um long process right just to get this titanium alloy over there or you can just buy them you know buy this one uh, buy aluminum and then uh, buy the iron to craft the steel and then get the coal get the titanium ore from the mine in magneto and there you go you got yourself titanium alloy which will actually do that in the next episode and yeah, I think that will be it for today's episode for this one. We just basically casually do the quests over here. Like, you know, just do these. Um, and the next one probably will go... Uh, what did I say again? We will do um, this uh, titanium alloy, right? We will do the mining permit, right? Like, we'll do mining titanium ore in the next episode, right? um so yeah and then we farm this from the mine and then we go here and we craft it right um and probably just you know just for example right i already have these over here but you know like i just want to show how to do it right um so yeah mining will be in the next episode and then after that we have ourselves titanium alloy it means then we can start doing the next part right which will be this one uh, armor plate and then high performance capacitor which will be from other um, survivor base which is the Novo and then uh, Krasno and Ergots to the east area right and there is acid as well oh where did that go uh, oh I I use it I, I guess I pressed it right uh, you need water which you can just filter water from the dirty water I think already to cover this in the um, like earlier episodes so I'm not gonna repeat that or show how to get clean water at least so yeah uh, for sulfuric acid uh, you can just craft I think right yeah this one just use sulfur and saltpeter just craft it yourself basically or you can also kill bee kill bees uh, nearby maybe in the um, radioactive area over here I don't know where uh the bees like um you know like spawn maybe in yufa but they'll be very far away right like yeah um i guess you can just i i believe svertlovsk and magneto kind of sell 
uh, sulfur and saltpeter if I remember correctly so you can just buy these uh, materials from those survivor base and then you can craft the acid right so yeah it's actually not a big deal for um, this one the water and acid the big deal is actually the alloy uh, armor plate and capacitor and armor plate and capacitor is actually easier to get however they actually require a lot of currency because you can only buy them i think or craft it from the specialist which means that you will need all the materials uh, you know you need to buy all the materials for that right just like this in the specialist i believe in the uh, the cities that i mentioned um there will be like this right i'm uh, not sure um but yeah i also know kind of know that it will also require steel um because um you know it makes sense right because this one armor plate you know the plate is probably from steel and then this one the casing for the capacitor probably also steel right so it just makes sense that's why we need actually steel and i believe that's also the currency that people are using in the economy as well right like in commercial over here they sell stuff um uh, in uh steel yeah this one uh sell one kpn twenty six thousand right um which means that it's just um like steel right but yeah i guess that'll be it for today's episode of the art survival um this one's the first part of pelas repair um you know like the mod says that uh you know it's been um you know like uh like what like um basically there will be updates right coming soon and maybe when this video is up it's already be here um so you know i will make a quick update probably like um you know anyway but if you know if i already recorded the video i will still upload uh but yeah maybe for the future episodes we'll actually have to like adapt to the new system right or the new update basically which i don't think will be far off um considering uh i don't know still i'm not i'm still not sure about that but yeah uh because i will see you again uh in few days from now in the next episode but yes yeah, stay safe stealthy i will see you again very very soon uh and see ya